Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni. I am a writer and general tech and nerd guy, and I'm here to talk to you about my politics. Just kidding. I am here to talk about VPNs. We are on VPN Mentor. What else would I be talking about? I want to talk about two very popular VPNs that are both pretty great on paper. Specifically, I want to talk about CyberGhost and Surfshark. I will be keeping this video fairly simple. I mean, there will be some stuff for beginners. There will be a few details for my fellow nerds. Please consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell icon, commenting, all that good stuff to help us with the almighty algorithm. Also, keep an eye on this channel going forward because we will have a lot of tips and tricks and how-tos, other reviews and other VPN comparisons all coming up, as well as some useful links in the description, such as a link to our full CyberGhost review with the results of every test we ran on it, and a full complete list of every feature. All right, with that all said, it's time to get into this. Let's go. And here we are. We're looking at the interfaces right now. This is CyberGhost. Uh, generally easy. You just kind of, you can look at your favorite servers. You can search through all the servers. It also has uh, servers with dedicated IP addresses, but they also have specific servers for gaming and servers for torrenting which has a greater range of uh, countries to choose from, and streaming, uh, you know, which again, limited range of countries, but these are dedicated streaming servers built on streaming technology, and you can, the, it's always guaranteed that your streaming will work on these servers. Whereas the other servers, like the general servers, may or may not, just saying. Surfshark has pretty much the same thing. You've got you, your, you know, full list of locations and countries, and quite a few of them. You've got your options for static or dedicated IPs in a few select countries. But that's not your question, is it? I bet your question is, how fast are any of these? Do they go fast enough to stream my videos? So here we are, connected to Dallas on the CyberGhost VPN. Let's hit that button. Most of these big VPNs actually generally perform well. If not super well, at least decently. Although that is a very good ping rate. It's one of the best I've seen, if I'm honest. It's fantastic. Download speeds are a tiny bit throttled compared to my uh, 100 megabits per second connection, but still perfectly good enough for downloading most uh, things, smaller programs, smaller games, you know, via Steam. This uh, upload speed is just good enough for mm, some streaming, although there will be a delay. That is uh, streaming from your computer to say YouTube or Twitch. And overall, those are some very good results from CyberGhost VPN. Gotta say, I like it. Anyway, <laughs> here we are on Surfshark. Let's run the test again. Don't worry about that delay. It happens even when you're not using a VPN. It's normal. Uh, it should be noted, by the way. Ooh, that's a pretty good ping result. I've had better and worse on Surfshark in over various tests, but decent download speeds. You should know that your internet will always be slowed down a bit by any VPN. How much that slowdown is, you know, how much it slows down is dependent on the server you're connecting to, the technology it's running on, uh, where your computer is, where the server is, and a million other factors. So your mileage will vary no matter what VPN you're using. Don't worry about that. Now that upload speed is pretty solid. And those are some pretty great results, all things considered. So, you know, Surfshark is pretty great on paper. But there are a couple of things you should know. Let's start uh, tallying up scores, and I'll tell you all about them. So, uh, for those scores, I've got to say, CyberGhost definitely has the better user interface. The text is a bit bigger and easier to read. The whole thing is a bit more spaced out. So you can really see what you're doing. Surfshark, I've got to say, is kind of annoying to read. Even for me, I, last time I checked, I had 20-20 vision, and that small text is annoying. Not a complete deal breaker, but definitely annoying. So I've got to give it to CyberGhost for the user interface, even though they are both pretty simple and easy to use. Another place where I have to give it to CyberGhost is in the servers. Now, while both services, and here's a point for each, have very fast performance, uh, you know, in my tests, you know, me in Mexico City connecting to Dallas, it should be noted that CyberGhost has a lot more servers in a lot more countries. Specifically, it has 7,500 servers in 91 countries. Surfshark only has about 3,200 servers in only 65 countries. 
Now, the more important statistic in that whole thing is actually the 91 countries, because that means you're more likely to find a server that's close to you for the fastest possible connection if that's what you're looking for. So again, Cyber Ghost will have to get the point there. Now, one category where Surfshark actually definitely wins is in split tunneling. S Surfshark does allow you to do this, so point for them. Cyber Ghost only allows split tunneling on their Android version for some reason. For resource usage though, Cyber Ghost wins again because Surfshark uses 155 megabytes of RAM with the window open and 75, or no, not 70, 70 megabytes of RAM with it closed. Cyber Ghost only uses 32 megabytes of RAM with the window closed, that is, and 150 with it open. All tests were run on Windows 11, which shouldn't make much of a difference, but I'm just throwing the data out there just in case. Now, let's talk about what everyone really wants to talk about. Let's be it. That's right, I'm talking about streaming. So you're traveling abroad, you decide, hey, I want to see some of those good old shows from home. And you look on Netflix and, oh, well, the country you're in doesn't have access to that show. Hmm, how do, what do you do? Well, you log on to your VPN. Right now, I am testing Netflix and HBO Max via Surfshark right over here. I'm connected to the Dallas server again, and let's just hit up, ooh, the Cowboy Bebop anime. Ah, <laughs> uh, I haven't watched this in a while, but I do like it. Now, um... Surfshark will let you connect uh, to the streaming services via pretty much any server. And, oh, look. <laughs> okay, so this doesn't always happen. I need you to understand um, this can happen to any VPN. Uh, I'm doing a terrible example of uh, showing off Surfshark here. Ah, and this is where we run into the other problem. When you connect and disconnect a couple of times, sometimes Surfshark can stop working. It might work this time. I'm hoping not. But there is a bug where it can leave your computer, even when you disconnect entirely, unable to connect to the internet until you reboot. This is a massive bug for me. I do not like it. I'm not going to dock at any points, but I may need to restart my computer now. Yes, I need to restart my computer. Just give me a second. Okay, so that's something that could happen to any VPN on their regular servers. I am now connected to uh, Surfshark again on the United States New York server. And there we go. It's playing just fine. The video quality looks fine all the way from Mexico to New York. So that's not bad. But uh, what you saw earlier are a couple of examples of things that can go wrong. Uh, the first, again, on any VPN service without the dedicated media streaming servers. And the second thing is a bug that's definitely all Surfshark. You have to reboot sometimes just to be able to access the internet at all. It's very annoying. But while we're here, let's go ahead and load up HBO Max. All right, it took a minute to load, but here we are on HBO Max with Batman the Brave and the Bold, one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Again, the quality is pretty good. And once the video actually starts up, there are a few problems. Okay, I am now connected via CyberGhost, and let's refresh the page on both services. So far, so good. I am using one of the dedicated streaming servers that are meant to be fast, meant to be smooth, and most importantly, meant to always work. This is supposed to be a Netflix-optimized server specifically, but it should work for other streaming services as well, in theory. Let's just give it a try real quick. But there it is. Working just fine. Takes a second for the quality to kick in, but otherwise, everything's A-OK. -okay. So, let's start tallying up some scores. Okay, for general streaming, I have to give it to both services, because they will both let you stream on just about any server you can connect to, provided that server hasn't been blocked by the specific streaming service you want to use. Um, but I have to give CyberGhost an extra point for having those speci uh, streaming-specific servers, as well as the ones for gaming and all that other good stuff, because uh, they're more reliable. They're guaranteed to work, even if they are available in fewer countries. By the way, if you want uh, to watch a tutorial on how to see Netflix from anywhere, we do have a tutorial for that on this channel, link in the description, or possibly in the video title cards at the end. 
All right, now a couple of other access related features that aren't just about streaming. Both networks do support torrenting. There is no throttling on uh, either of them, so that's cool. And there are dedicated servers for torrenting, of course, with um, CyberGhost, which is fantastic. Uh, Surfshark does restrict torrenting in uh, countries where torrenting is illegal, but if you've connected from your country to one of those uh, countries where it's illegal, uh, the Surfshark will actually redirect your uh, torrent traffic to a torrent-friendly server in a place like Canada or the Netherlands. And uh, there are plenty of legal reasons to torrent, just to be clear. I'm talking about downloading Linux distributions, public domain movies or TV shows. So let's see, they both get points for torrenting, uh, but CyberGhost again gets extra points for those dedicated torrenting servers, uh, servers, which is pretty fantastic, I'm not going to lie. Uh, CyberGhost does not work when you're in China. Surfshark does. So Surfshark gets a point there. However, CyberGhost gets a point for the having a very rare feature, and that is it has servers in China. That is, so when you're outside China, you can use those servers to access Chinese content if you so desire. It's a very rare feature, and it's pretty cool. Speaking of VPNing into or out of places like China, let's talk about security real quick. Now, regarding security, there's not a lot to actually show you, so I'm just going to go over these points as quickly as I can. Uh, both have a variety of security protocols, that is, uh, methods of encrypting and transferring information back and forth to the servers. Some prioritize speed and in, uh, video streaming, that sort of thing. Others prioritize security. So, you know, they, but they both have a variety of options. They both also have kill switches, which prevent any of your internet traffic from leaking if, say, your VPN gets disconnected temporarily. So both get points for both of those features. Uh, neither of them have any URL logging, so that's also fantastic. However, you should know that sometimes governments can force them to track you anyway. At least, they won't track you in general, but if the government comes with a warrant, they can enforce them to track you specifically anyway. CyberGhost has what they call a no-spy server network. It's based in Romania, where no, uh, basically no big multi-government surveillance deals are enforced. So that is an extra point for CyberGhost. Both work with the Tor browser as well for extra anonymity, because Tor isn't enough on its own and VPNs aren't enough on their own sometimes, you know, when you really want to be anonymous. All right, now let's get into some quick logistical things. Bo both uh, VPNs work just fine on Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, but they both you, where they both use command line based clients. And they both also have extensions for browsers such as Chrome. And they also have extensions for Firefox. Both get a lot of points for general compatibility with all sorts of operating systems. Although I do have to say that there is one uh, a bit of a downside. The Linux client for Surfshark only supports one protocol, one security protocol, whereas the one for uh, CyberGhost uh, uh, supports several. So I've got to give an extra point there to CyberGhost. Oh, also both uh, VPNs support uh, TV platforms like Apple TV and Roku and Amazon Fire, and as well as gaming consoles and all of that stuff. They can both uh, be installed on routers. You have to um, set up everything manually yourself. Uh, now, as for support, they both have live chat and email support, and they got back to me in minutes. And the same went uh, for CyberGhost. Just it took me a little, a little bit of, uh, well, we're tracking down to find the live chat on CyberGhost. I'm not gonna lie. They both worked just fine, and in general, I got the answers I wanted in minutes. Once I got, I got to actually talk to a person, which you know, my the queues went very quickly. Lastly, and I probably should have brought this up earlier, but here we go. CyberGhost supports seven devices at a time. Surfshark supports unlimited devices. Now you can install CyberGhost on as many as you want, but you can only have seven devices connected at a time. So here I have got to say Surfshark gets an extra point. Now as for pricing, they both have pretty darned good pricing, so they both get a point. I will say that CyberGhost is cheaper but it's cheaper in the range of, it's a couple cents cheaper per month. They both give uh, fantastic discounts for the first one or two years of per that you purchase at, at first, and then the prices go back up. So that's something to know, be wary of. Surfshark has a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is good. 
So Surfshark gets a point for that 30-day money-back guarantee. Cyber Ghost gets a point and an extra one for a 45-day money-back guarantee. This is actually very rare. So if you pay for a year or two years in advance and you're not happy in the first 45 days, if you're not content, if you decide to go for either one, Cyber Ghost accepts credit cards, PayPal, and Bitcoin. Surfshark accepts credit cards, PayPal, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, and bank transfers and various cryptocurrencies. Also, you can check, again, the link down in the, de in the description for our coupon page, which could help you get a good deal on CyberGhost or any other major VPN just about. So in the final score, I have to say CyberGhost wins by being a, a little cheaper, a little bit less annoying, and generally having some very good server technology and a very good server network, uh, better than Surfshark does. I still wish it had that split tunneling feature. But for the, if you, that's something you really want, you can go check out all of our other reviews or some of our other reviews, which will no doubt be linked in the description and the full Cyber Ghost review, again, linked down in the description to, so you can see the results of all of our tests. Well, in the end, I hope you found this video helpful and useful in making your choice of which VPN to go for. I hope you had a good time. I had a good time making it. Again, please do consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and generally doing all those things that help us with the algorithm, the notification bell, the co uh, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.